Hello, this is the latest update on the AK GT40 build. It looks like I've gone backwards, but in fact I've gone a long way forwards. Uh, I've now done a full check and trial fit of all panels. And we have a little friend that's just appeared. Um, so now's the time to strip the whole chassis down, which I've done, ready to turn it upside down so that I can fit the actual flooring, which is shown there. Obviously, I've got to prepare that, strip it all back, and then coat it. There's the big beastie, the engine. That's now out. Uh, it's quite a big lump when you look at it like that. But it uh, should be straightforward to put it all back together. Uh, gearbox there. So I've done all the wiring, the loom for the actual car, for the lights, etc. And I've also done the looming for the engine, shortened it and lengthened it and tidied that up. Uh, I've got a few modifications to do to the chassis. As you can see there and there, I've got to put a triangular cut in. That's to make room for the fuel rails. And down the bottom there. I've got to cut that section out and again triangulate it in to give me a recess. That's to allow for the drive pulley that drives the oil pump. And then I've got a little recess to cut out there that allows me to take out one of the bolts if I ever have to change the alternator. Other things came to light uh, over the last few weeks. One was the oil filter. Originally, it was going to go into this location here because I thought I'd have access down the bottom. But of course, this bottom is going to be panelled, so that's going to make that near now impossible. So I've now moved it, as you can see, to that location there. So that's nice and easy to get at. Right. And here we have all the parts <coughs> that have been taken off. All the aluminium panels, suspension bits and bobs, cooling, and God knows what else. So that's all ready to be reinstalled when I've done the floor. Got to do a few mods on the engine. <laughs> got to run two scavenge pipes from there. They've got to go along and go into the sump there. It does mean I've got to do a, a recess into the sump to clear the pipes in that position. That's something I wasn't aware of, but I was aware that I've got to weld in a couple of unions in that position and put some form of aluminium, put some form of steel screed in there to keep the bits out. Uh, what else have we done? I had to make up a, a frame for lifting the engine now, so that works quite well. Bolts on where the exhaust would go. So that's the other job while well, the engine is out is to make up little short stubs to come out of each of the exhaust so that when it's in the car it gives me something to actually attach to when I come to make up the exhaust. So that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, nothing else to report. So the next job as I say is putting the floor on so that's when I'll do the next video, is when the car is up the other way, or upside down, uh, and the floor is all fitted. Once again, thanks for watching.